everybody, Mr. Miola here, and welcome to Bio Inc. Redemption. This game just came out on early access a couple days ago, and it's a medical type of game, which is quite fitting because currently I'm a little bit under the weather. But we're going to tough that out, and we're going to jump into this game. Basically, from what I understand, we're given a human body. We are a doctor. I am Dr. Miola, of course. And we get given the choice of whether we want to be a good doctor or a bad doctor. <laughs> yes, we get to choose from life. Or we get to choose from death. The angel on this shoulder or the devil on that shoulder. Which is it going to be? I'm too good of a person to go down the evil path. So, yes, we are going to be trying to keep our patient alive today. I choose life. And, um, it looks like he approves of it. All right, let's go. Ooh, do we do, we do the tutorial? Or do we just jump straight in? Stop it, we're going to jump straight in. All right, it strongly advises I do the tutorial. I'll be back in a second, guys. So I just played through the tutorial. The game seems pretty straightforward. It looks like it might get really difficult, though. So we're going to work through this together. I'll explain it as we go. But it looks like we need to start off in med school. We can't go straight to the hospitals. We can't go straight to treating patients. we got to start in school. we got to start with the basics. So let's go ahead and do that. It's our first internship, the first case. Let's make a good impression. We can do this. And my patient... His name is, of course. It's a good question, actually. We're going to call him LD. If you know the reference, you know who LD is. You're an absolute legend. You're an absolute bloody legend. But here we go. Okay. So all the booster slots are currently locked. I don't even know what that means, but let's just get straight into it. Didn't cover that in the tutorial. But if you want to name our next patient, then let me know down in the comments some naming suggestions. And if we upload another video of this game... Then I'll, uh, I'll choose the name of our new guy from the comments. Anyways, here we are. So our objective is to make sure that LD recovers 100% before he dies. I hope he doesn't die. But patient LD has a few diseases targeting his circulatory and nervous systems and his overall health is suffering. Reach 100% recovery by diagnosing and treating diseases. Something about boosters, don't know what that means. But here we go. This is our boy. This is LD right here in front of us. And um, basically, these are all the different systems. We've got the, the circulatory, which is veins. We've got the respiratory, which is the lungs. The digestive, which is where all our food goes. We've got the ske skeletal, which is skeletons. We've got the nervous system, which is our nerves. The renal system, which I don't know what they are pancreas or something the immune system which fights diseases and our muscular system which is muscles and what we're going to do is click these little things here when they show up and they give us bio points and with the bio points we can basically uh do stuff like cure diseases and give him medication and diagnose what's wrong with him so it looks like he's got something wrong with his circulatory system something wrong with his skeletal system and he's got some little things that we can pick up in his renal system also something wrong with his muscular system so that was interesting. Anyways, let's keep picking these little things up, getting these bio points. We're just getting our bio point collection up and running. We've got 15 points, so let's go ahead and check out the bio map. So here in front of us, or here to our left, is everything that's wrong with him. They're, they're all his symptoms, and we need to diagnose where they're coming from and how to treat them. So if we click them, it's going to show us what they might be related to. So muscle weakness could be coming from bones, the brain, the lungs, muscles, shaking just from the brain so we can go and treat something up there mood swings are coming from the brain or the whatever the little dna symbol is dizziness anyways they all come from different areas and we got to go and treat them so something i've realized straight away muscle weakness and shaking come from one of the same little spots up there so we're going to go up to the brain over here and i'm going to click this thing here and uh parkinson's disease holy crap i hope he does not but we have to test him for parkinson's disease basically um and how do we do that we got to we gotta, we gotta examine him somehow. So we spend our 15 points on one of these things. And I'm thinking we go for a psychological... No, 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 no. Parkinson's disease. We gotta do something strong. Psychiatric assessment, probably not. Brain PET scan. You know what? I'm thinking we spend 12 points on an MRI. Get the job done with. Maybe. Oh, it actually tells you what they target. Oh, well, the PET scan's a little cheaper. So maybe I'll just go for that. Let's run that test. Now that test is currently in progress. So we can go back and we can probably drop another one as well. We've got six points left. So how about a headache? How do we uh, tend to a headache? Or should we tend to something up here? You know what? We're going to tend to something on the heart. I'm thinking we go deal with this little section here. What can we do? This one right here. Okay, so we're going to run. Oh, we've, we're already running a brain MRI. That's good. That's awesome. How about for this little thing here? There we go. Let's go and electrocardiography. Run the... Nope, we don't have enough points. Okay, never mind. We're just going to back out. 
our brain PT scan is gonna and it's gonna start running up there in the top right corner. We're gonna collect a few more bio points so we can do some more healing and stuff like that. Um, and our brain scan is just about done. He's only 2% recovered, so we've got 98 recovery left. Okay, here we go. The results are in. He has Parkinson's disease, which is absolutely horrible, and he doesn't have dementia. So what we can do now is we can open up the brain, we can click on this here, and with 14 points, we can treat the Parkinson's. The only thing is, I don't have 14 points, so we're going to have to collect some more of these little bio points. We've got 10 of them. If we could get four more, that would be amazing. If we could get four more. Can we speed up? Is that how this thing works? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it, but here we go. We're getting some points. We've got the 14 points that we need. 16. We're going to jump in the biomap. We're going to head over here. We're going to click on this. Treat him for these. It's 70% efficient. Hopefully, it does the job. And now we can go and zoom out and hopefully collect some more of these um, these little things. Wow. Okay. His brain. Oh, my God. Okay. The brain splattering and stuff is probably a little bit too much. It's probably a little bit unnecessary, but it's okay. We'll collect some more bio points. The Parkinson's disease is slowly getting treated. I hope it gets treated. Um, let's keep going, though. We need a couple more points. 11, maybe a few more, and then we can go and diagnose something else. Okay, biomap it is. We've got 16 points. Let's find out what else we can, uh, I guess, try and recover or work on. Irregular heartbeat. You know what? That probably sounds like a good direction to go down. Um, or dizziness. Okay. We are going to treat this thing here with a metabolic panel. We're going to run a test for five points. What else can we do while we're here, though? What else can we work on? No, no, no. I want to click over here somewhere. Mood swings. Maybe that's what we should work on. So we're going to click on the brain. Hopefully, we have enough points to treat some of these things. Psychological evaluation, psychiatric assessment, and an MRI to do that as well. We'll just go psychological evaluation. And then up here... We can't... Oh, we can't do that just yet. That's a little bit disappointing. But we're currently running two tests. We've got the treatment underway as well. So we're going to let these things pan out and see what happens. And hopefully we get some answers. Hopefully we start getting some results. He's 4% recovered now. Still got a long way to go, though. Still got a very long way to go. Here we go. One of our tests is in. He has high cholesterol, no potassium deficiency, no type 1 diabetes, and no pancreatitis. So that's... Somewhat good, I think. Let's go and open the bio map, though. And I guess we should start treating some of this stuff. We've got a choice of how we want to treat it. We've got seven points if we want to sit, if we want like a quick turnaround, or we've got four points if we want to expand it over 31 days. I think we just go for the quick, quick one. We'll jump straight in there, prescribe him some medication. It'll it'll be it'll be solved in no time. And hopefully we can get these bio points back up as fast as possible. The Parkinson's disease is nearly, nearly done. Here we go. Our, our next test is in. He has chronic stress and he's having a nervous breakdown. He's not burnt out. So that's good to know as well, but we don't have enough points to really go treating that sort of stuff now. How about his Parkinson's? Oh no, we've treated two things, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I think we've treated two of those things or just one of them now. The steratidosis. His high cholesterol is better is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but let's keep collecting these points. We've got nine points. Can we get like 15 of them? Nah, you know what? We're oh, the Parkinson's. I think the Parkinson's is taken care of. Okay. We've got some bio points over here in his muscular system. Let's jump into his bio map. We've got two diseases we got to tackle now. I'm thinking we start off with this one here. We can spend eight points on psychiatric counseling, which is going to take a long... Why would we do that when we can do anti... Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with this, this option here. Oh, the efficiency is 80% compared to 100%. We're just going to go for it. Prescribe it. And then these ones right here, we can either give him antidepressants or stress management therapy. I think we're going to go with the antidepressants just because it's quicker and it's 100% efficient, supposedly. So we got that taken care of. Let's come back out of here now and see how those two things go. They're not going to take too long to take effect either. So they're going to be right in there straight away, nice and quick. We've got our immune system here. We've got some more points that we can we can suck up from in the immune system. And it looks like those three are the only ones. There we go. Plus 5% recovery. We've treated him again. And chronic stress. When are we going to find out about that? It's done. 29%. We're a third of the way there. Looking good. And we can also upgrade something. So... Upgrade resources level when able to collect more bio points. You can upgrade to the next level once you meet the level requirements. So, here are our... Oh, we've only got one option. We can upgrade plus 40% harvest power. Diagnose at least three diseases. We've done that. Sweet! And the next one as well. Plus, th uh, plus three each 15 days. 
treat at least four diseases. Great. Cool. Okay, I don't know what that second one was. I didn't really read it properly, but it's okay. Let's speed things up. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta collect more little thingamabobbies. There we go. We're getting more points. What do you mean he's now a smoker? He just takes up smoking while he's in the hospital bed? That makes no sense at all. What are you talking about? Oh, I guess he's not in our hospital bed the entire time because 112 days have passed. Unless he's in a coma for a very long time, that's not going to happen. Anyways, let's get a few more points. A few more points. Whenever these stop showing up, and we're going to head back into the bio map. So, he's only got leg pain, diz leg pain, dizziness, swelling and bruising, and leg swelling. But let's, let's, let's just tackle leg pain straight up. In fact, do we have any crossover between all three of these? Because three of them have to do with uh, legs by the looks of it. It could be a heart problem. So we're going to open up the heart. This one right here, blood clots might be the issue. It could be causing all three of these things. So let's go give him some ultrasounds. We're going to run an ultrasound test on him. And while we're here, maybe we'll go and deal with the dizziness as well. Hmm. Do we have any crossover here? It doesn't look like it. Or do we? No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. All right, we're gonna diagnose whatever this little. Oh, deep, deep vein thrombosis. More ultrasounds. It's already in progress. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just let it run its course. We'll let the ultrasounds go through. We'll check the tests. We may be, we may be on the right track here. We might be taking care of this guy. We're gonna keep the poor guy alive. Once these results are in, right now. Here we go. So, blood clots positive, deep vein thrombosis positive, and post phlebitic syndrome positive as well. Wow, that's a big one. Okay, so we're going to jump in and have to treat these things. Um, okay, three different treatments. So, 11 points on post phlebitic something or other. Great. Uh, blood clots. We have just enough points to tackle them as well. So, we got two treatments going on right now. Oh, hold on a second. What about lifestyles? Uh huh. So we can expand their lifestyles, can we? Uh-huh. We might look into this another time. An intensive care. Fast diagnosis. Okay. So we can... Looks like we can spread some points across some other things as well, but we haven't gotten into that just yet. Let's see, though. Are we going to have any new things pop up or what? We got two treatments. Oh, here we go. Muscular. There we go. Anything else? I need bio points. One of them has just been treated, though. Nervous system. Something has just been treated. We'll check out what that is in just a second. Um, okay, we're good. We're good. His circulatory system is suffering big time right now. Probably because he's smoking. That's definitely not going to help the case. But let's keep collecting these little things, Bobbies. We've got 17 points. Let's jump into his biomap. And let's go and treat him for this. Anticoagulants. It's going to take 15 days. But I think it should get the job done. He's also got a headache and dizziness. Okay. I'm going to treat him for whatever this is. Blood pressure test. Let's run that test on him as well. And just, just let the time pass by. The blood pressure test is going to come in pretty darn quickly, though. And the post phlebetitic syndrome is just about treated. So he has hypertension by the looks of it. Can we treat this, like, straight away? Seven days, 100% efficiency. We're going to give him the alpha blockers, and we're going to see how they go. Immune system. we got some more points we can collect. That's what I'm talking about, baby. He's got a new symptom. We're like fixing all the symptoms and he's just getting more and more of them. Okay, we've treated him for something. I don't know what it was. I can't remember which one it was. But his, uh, his blood clots are just about cured as well, which is great. We have 11 bio points. There we go. He's at 61% health. I wonder if we can get him to 100 today. I, I didn't... I don't know. Hopefully we can. I think we're going to. We got this guy, man. We're going to get this guy sorted. It only took 168 days so far, but... His life is in my hands. Here we go. Muscular. All right. 21 points. I think it's about time we, we jump into... Oh, hold on. I think we had more things we could do, but his headache is absolutely destroying him right now. Um, okay, okay. Okay. Do we have any crossovers here? We don't, as far as I'm aware. But headaches, I'm assuming, would be coming from his brain, possibly, right? I'm pretty sure there's no crossover here. There might be, actually. This one right here. This one right here. Yes. Brain MRI. We've already given him one MRI. Apparently, we're doing it again. Fine. Okay. Muscular. We've got some more little bio points we can collect. I don't know what this means, though. Like, 38% up here doesn't look good to me. Nervous system. 
Collect some more of these. His brain looks all bloody and splattered. I don't know. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Maybe we can make some lifestyle changes to him. What if we were to, like, make him, you know... Wait, no, his brain. His brain's the issue, isn't it? That's what's, like, dying the quickest right now. How about this here? 18 points to evolve. We don't know. We can't actually do that yet, but... You know what? We're going to give him relaxation therapy is what we're going to do. And then I'm going to throw some yoga into his lifestyle as well. And some, some proper sleep. Interesting. Okie dokie. Let's get back out of here and see what happens. We spent 14 points on all of that. Let's see what the brain MRI returns though. Hopefully it brings us... When I say good news... Well, here we go. No strokes, no Alzheimer's disease, so that's good. But he has had a brain aneurysm, so that's that's hardly good news. And we can't give him surgical clipping just yet. Now, now we can. We just got the points for it. Fantastic. So, surgical clipping. Prescribe whatever we just prescribed. Laughing, baby. Okay, so that's slowly getting treated. He's at 66%. That's good. It's good. We're getting there. Speed it up again. We're just at 200 days of treatment. This poor guy, man. That's so much treatment, but we're going to get him through this. His circulatory system has seen better days, though. Seen much better days. Okay. What happened? He just pulls out a laptop. Reach. Oh, he's got something new. Something new happened to him, but I missed what it was. His recovery is though 95%. Hold on just a second. 97, 98, we're going to do it. 99. 100. 100% recovery. Yes, we did it. All right. Stage one of our internship complete. You save LD in 215 days. Patient LD has been stabilized after seven months of medical treatment. The precise diagnosis and treatment of LD's Parkinson's disease slowed down the nervous system collapse, thus providing more time to complete prognosis. Beautiful, 148 buy points, 150% diagnosis efficiency, nine diseases treated with a total score of 2,951. No idea what any of that means, but great. We treated our first patient. We did it. Thank you. I'm well on my way to becoming a master surgeon. And we're going to wrap this episode up here, guys. If you want to see more Bio Inc. on the channel, then make sure to let me know by punching the thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And make sure to let me know down below if you do want to see more of this, what we should name the next patient. Thumbs up someone else's comment if you like what they've written. But that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one very, very soon. Bye for now.